CBIT Global Conference, Professor Zami Hadadin uh, is with me here, uh, and we are talking about robotics. Uh, Zami, the, uh, the future of robotics and the interaction of humans with robots is one of your special fields. It's about um, enabling the robot body to interact, right? So to essentially build the sense of touch into the body and then build a central nervous system that can make use of that. So essentially, if you take the analogy of the human, we make muscles understand how to feel contacts and your backbone, how to control muscles and to make use of the sensory feedback, meaning forces. Yeah. But what about uh, yeah, the, the appearance of a robot? Uh, we saw Pepper before or, uh, for instance, about the voice of a robot. Yeah. So obviously this is a big, big uh, thing to really make robots usable for humans, right? So humans understand things that they know about. We want to build systems that are smart, that are interactive. Um, they don't have to be human appearance, right, for that. They just have to be um, human-centered. So we need to understand and to design robots that are really built around the human. So we want to um, design the system, so from the mechanical standpoint, uh, sensorization and so on, but also from the, from the usage point of view, right? So how can you make use of the robot such that it's super intuitive, that everybody understands how to basically take the robot by the hand, show him something, he understands and learns what you want to show him, um, it doesn't have to be human-like for that, right? It does have to be understandable and uh, more like a tool, I believe. Mm. Uh, yeah, thinking about the robots we know from Hollywood, uh, is there a way to that the people are not afraid of robots? Or are they afraid in the first place? It depends who you talk to. So I think the awareness of robotics and what we can do for people, right? Especially in human-centered robotics, it's all about people. It's all about the human itself. How can we support him? How can we help him? A robot that you can just take out of the box, you make, you set it up instantly, and then it helps you, right? And uh, obviously there has been the, the huge um, kind of I, didn't want, I don't even want to, uh, to uh, name it prejudices. It's really kind of the, the, the fear of robotics that to a large extent also comes from the media that really comes from all these m wonderful movies that also I get inspiration from. But I think we are in the transformation phase, right? So ro humans understand more and more how they can make use of robotics, how we can help. We can help people with disabilities. We can help workers to, don't, to not anymore do all the laborious work that really gives you physical problems after a couple of years. We can automate things that are very dull. People don't want to do that. We can go to locations that are very dangerous to humans in space. I mean, think about Fukushima, think about deep water. There are so many applications where robotics can help distribution, right? So you want to be flexible, small, medium enterprises. We have huge problems in basically keeping the jobs. But if we can make humans together with a robot more efficient, like a tool that you give at hand, the human gets again much, much more efficient, much more capable, and this is something that makes humans even more capable than before, right? Just currently you're working on the future of robotics, uh, so you made an announcement. Uh, can you tell me what it is? Yeah, it's about Hannover Fair 2016. Um, we're going to unveil Franca, which will be a revolution in robotics. So you saw that I was kind of giving the, the road from building the body of the robot making it capable of interaction and then taking it to the next era of digitalization. So how can we go to basically a robot that is like a smartphone? Everybody can use it, we share knowledge, we distribute it, we have communities and all these things are really about to come. And um, I don't want to say too much but I, th I believe that Hannover Fair will be a milestone in robotics and possibly beyond, basically bring robotics to everybody. Right? Sami, thank you very much. Great to have you here. Great pleasure. Okay.